from Turkish citizens abduction in Kenya. So seven Turkish citizens, all volunteers with the Hizmet movement, have been abducted in Kenya. To Kenyan police officer causing accident. <laughs> Is the president of Kenya a liar? <laughs> Kimani Chunga forced to flee. Hello, how are you? Welcome, welcome to Show New Trend. I'm your host of today and my name is Elvis Derry. After regarding Ashagwa, the former deputy president of Kenya was impeached. Mount Kenya was boiling. I want to show you guys this video of Kimani Chungwa who was being chased away and he was forced to flee uh, after Mount Kenya residence. He said to, to, to show him dust after he took part in impeaching uh, regarding Ashagwa. Take a look at this video. And that's not all. Even member of parliament Julius Saitumu, he was heckled in Igembe North constituency after he asked the people there to support the appointment of Kituri Kendiki as a new deputy president of Kenya. Take a look at how things unfolded. It will be a momentous occasion. One, it will be history made. Okay, if you don't want that one, fine. Even Kenyan police officers are tired. There's one particular police officer who decided to cause an accident and the residents, the Kenyan people, the Raya, were not having it. Take a look. As we all know, abductions have been going and are still going on in this country, Kenya. And even foreigners and tourists and even volunteers from foreign countries are not safe here in Kenya. Listen to this story from Refugees Unknown, Stories Untold, where seven Turkish volunteers were abducted in Kenya. Listen to this story from the executive director. I'm Vanya Womack, executive director of Refugees Unknown, Stories Untold. And today I bring you urgent news that cannot wait. So seven Turkish citizens, all volunteers with the Hizmet movement, have been abducted in Kenya. And while there are three have been released, four of them still remain missing. And this isn't just a local issue, it's actually part of a disturbing pattern. The Turkish government is notorious for orchestrating illegal abductions outside of its own borders, specifically targeting innocent Hizmet members. 
You know, this situation to me feels all too familiar, and I really fear for the lives of these four individuals. Because if Kenya sends them back to Turkey, for sure they're going to face torture, they're going to endure horrific prison conditions. I've seen it before. Just a few years ago, I spoke with the wife of Orhan Anande, who was kidnapped in Kyrgyzstan, and I know how these stories often end. This is an international crime. It is quite clear that nobody is safe. A 16-year-old, a Turkish citizen, also was abducted and just listen to how he narrates his story. My name is Abdullah Genç. I'm 16 years old. I study in Kenya. This Friday, in the early morning hours, our car got hit by a jeep. Four masked men who welded guns pointed us to get in their car. They were aggressive and they commanded us. When they took us to their car, they zip-tied me and handcuffed my dad. They blinded us both. We couldn't see anything. On the corner of my eye, I could see license plates. They kept on changing license plates. They wanted to be discreet. My parents, my mom, was left behind with my two little sisters. They took us around Nairobi for about two hours until they realized I was 16 years old. After realizing I was 16 years old, they transferred me to a different car. I had to say my goodbyes to my dad. They drove me for two hours on the second car. I was worried about my parents, especially my two little sisters. I was still blinded and zip tied. After the two hours, they dropped me 500 meters away from my house. I had no shoes. They took my shoes from me. My gadgets, my phones, my AirPods, they took everything from me. It was raining, it was dark. They dropped me off with socks. I had to walk home with socks. I want the government of Kenya and the UN to help me get in contact with my dad. I want to see him again. Currently, the Kenyan people are tired seeing the same, same faces in government. Every election, the same, same people, the same, same names. Take a look at this video of this Gen Z who came up with a solution that he will apply in the coming elections in Kenya. Listen to this. Staki wa rudutu huko tena sima yu chacha nuka mother zetu bado ruto unaenda home na 13 parliament tunaivunja wende home wote tuanze fresh so tell us in the comments down below will you also be hiding your parents id in the coming elections or are they supporting the right leaders in Kenya kwanza mimi kwanza kifika 2027 naibambaka kura ya madhangu na budangu if sarcasm was a person that will be this man that I'm about to show you who decided to mock the voters the people who voted in the current government. Take a look. Na niambie rais, Kenya ni yako. Vile unaamua ndivyo tutaenda. Hata ukitaka tukutuweka kamba, mguu yuwe juu kichwa chini, wacha yende hivyo. Kaita kaendete. Sinye ndio mlipiga kura. Ai! Baba Raila, ukae kwa president Ruto. <laughs> the former governor of Kembo County, Ferdinand Waititu, he is back and he came back with a banger after calling out William Ruto and telling the people of Kenya that why he is not supporting the current regime. Listen to what he had to say. Na mimi, mimi ni wale ambaye tulichagua Ruto. Sisi diyo tuliwaletea hiyo kisiradi yote ambaye inakumba ichi hii. Sisi tulikuwa tunafikiria kuna daily tunalipa kwa sababu tuliona Ruto akiongoza kampini ya uhuru. Na tulifanya kazi kubwa sana. Na maagizo ile ilikuwa imeagizwa wananchi. Kutoka mahaslas wote walikuwa ameambiwa vile watakuwa na pesa kwa mtoko. Mama Mboga walikuwa ameambiwa vile watakuwa wakipata mkoa mkopo bila kwenda kwa sero. Mkumbuke? Watu ya boda boda walikuwa wameagizwa ati kuanzia serikali ya Ruto ikiingia hawa watapata pesa inamwagika kwa mfuko zangu 
Mukumbuke sana. Mapastors wote na mabisho walifanya kazi kubwa sana kwa sababu walikuwa naona kama wanaleta Mkristo akuwe rais. Angalia ni tena mkumbuke hao pia walidanganywa. Saa hii ukiangalia okay, Ruto sasa hapa anaongea maneno ya wakristo Na uwezi muona sasa na wakristo Vile saa yote ulikuwa unamsikia kwa kanisa. Saa hii hapana. Angalia walimu wote walikuwa wamedanganywa na jia kubwa sana. Akasema ati hakutakuwa na mauaji hata moja ya kiholela holela ya vijana wetu. Juzi mumeona vile vijana wameuawa watu wanapatikana baka kwa kuare huko watu wamechinja chinjwa na wamechinjwa ikiwa Ruto mwenyewe ameagiza hakutakuwa na kitendo kama hiyo. Watu ndio wakaangalia vijana wetu Genesis wakachoka na uongo. Wakaangalia madaktari wakisha toka kwa university interns doctor inter hapana pewa kazi na serikali for the first time madaktari wakitoka kwa university inakuwa wanazunguka tu bila kazi na ndio muliona jenzis wetu vijana walichoka wakasema enough is enough hii serikali iende wapate serikali ambaye inaweza uongoza vile inafaa a spoken word artist by the name of William Weber, he went all the way to Milan to inject international injection. And just take a look at this video of how William Weber is doing some amazing street poetry. Listen to this. Dear God, at times when you bless, I didn't ask you to show God bless you. Over time, when you succeed, when you make happy, I want to say I'm proud of you. Dear God, God, I never leave this suburb, life is good. But across the street ni aslam watoi wanalala bila food. Ninge sema in terms of chorus but of late ni kona nervous. Because inchi ni meza wanakulia. Wana inchi ni biti wanakalia. Tukijaribu ku shout out loud wanatuambia tulieni. Na ni situ tunalia. Just the system imemua previous role. Sasa wanita judge my lord. The love of God is my witness. Yani uchumi ni mbaya. Watu wapia singtundu wanatoboa. Uchumi ni mbaya kuna kenye na move. Wasusi wa wasongi uchumi ni mbaya ambako ukisaidia rafiki yako pesa yako unapoteza rafiki yako na pesa yako yani uchumi ni mbaya na pesa ya kisima waliba and that's the damn truth sudden death is viewed kama spoiled goods that's the sad truth hakuna food shelter matter clothing now that's the naked truth my youth wanna fair kwenda job interview politician kenye na msumbua ni mafuta ndege that's the plain truth life ain't easy that's the hard truth it's not about sucking drugs in a great my wasted youth Inchi ma chef always ya food ile food wana cook do mopitian ona lipo always ya tapiga look till seem to see god that i'm to a tight age ticket ya heaven and nunuli my mook itakuwaje crazy tajiri ni intellectual lakini crazy maskini kwa maskio justice ni kelele itakuwaje mna believe in me na nikicheza kimimi una babe babe aya Bichake kabisa. Lakini sinanga forehead kubwa. Unaona hadi? Siko sawa? Mm. Bib. Chum. Bibi chum. Mm. Bibi chum. Kidogo tu. Bibi. Ah, shida. <laughs> Baby chum, pet bus. Baby pet kiapa. Thank you so much for joining us on today's show. I'm your host Elvis Derry. See you in the next one. Bye bye.